not too many of each, just a few of each. Because everything matures at different times, I thought we'd plant a few things and have a few things um, going on. Um, radishes first, we're planting a lot of those because we'll get those in about 25 for some of them to 45 days. So we'll have food continually. And I know a lot of people say they don't like radishes, but one of the ones I planted on this end was from Baker Creek. They did a special um, uh, two-page layout about their Chinese fruit radishes, which are sweeter. So I bought each of those, and I thought we'd try them and see if we like them. And it, my um, wonderful camera guy asked me, what about the greens? When you thin, can you eat the thinning? With radishes, when they're small, yes, because they're not fuzzy yet. But I don't waste them. When they get fuzzy, either I juice them or I saute them. And as far as spicy radishes, I happen to like them sliced up like on a microplane or a, um, what do you call those things, a mandolin in my salads or salted and pickled. They're awesome. But you can also saute them. You can roast them with your veg roast or your chicken, fish, or whatever meat you're cooking in the oven. And they're fabulous. They have kind of the texture of a potato, but a little... Uh, crunchier. So season them up, throw them in the oven if you don't like the spice and I bet you'll change your mind. <laughs> so what all is going in this bed? Um, we've got multiple types of radishes. We've got um, purple radishes and black Spanish round from my gardener. We've got Danvers half long carrots, golden beets, Detroit dark red beets I got from the fig seed box swap with um, Deborah Christmas and Deb from Butterflies and Homes Garden Swap Box. And Deb um, had a huge packet of parsnip seeds, and I didn't have any of those, so I've got some of those to go in. I'm going to put in a couple rutabagas, and I think maybe 10 types of radishes and eight or nine different types of um, carrot, two or three beets. And if I can find some, I'll add some more kohlrabi to this bed because I really like it. But primarily it'll be radishes because those will come fastest. And hopefully the carrots being all different sizes will get like a staggered harvest of different ones and different colors. And those greens also are edible in case you didn't know. You can juice the carrot greens, you can saute them, you can chop them up fine in your salads. So don't waste your greens off your root crops because they are all edible too. And that is... Are there any root crops that wouldn't be edible? Not on this bed, but in general. Um, root crops that would not have edible, um, uh, stem, uh, leaves? um, not that I can think of, even horseradish, the leaves are edible. Every root crop that I know of, the leaves are edible. Oh, no, wrong. I'm sorry. White potatoes, you cannot eat the leaves. Um, they have, um, um, cyanide in the leaves. So if you eat them to excess, you will get, you will fall ill most likely. However, sweet potatoes are a completely different genus and phylum, so you can eat the leaves off your sweet potato starts, in case you didn't know. Saute them with some, with some garlic and onion. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> You'll see me doing that later this year. Have Once I get done, my trellis. Have we ever done garlic greens? Yes. Um, I always grow um, the type of garlic that has scapes, and you didn't even know what you were eating, but you liked it. <laughs> Um, the other side, we're going to plant greens, and we're, he's going to take this down maybe one height, one um, board of height for me, and I this year... around to filling it with dirt, so we're going to lower it this year and use the dirt we have. And I'm going to put, um, uh, bush beans there so that I can just pick like this right here as I'm sitting, because you guys know I garden from my chair, chair all the time. So that actually works. And then I don't have to bug him all the time. Or if he's at work, I can still harvest if I need to. That's all I got. You have anything else? Okay. And if we just, I think we agreed, if we don't like it low, we will put the board back and fill I'm it back up. Put it back up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping you make that over there into a greenhouse. I have more growing space. The two big beds, I think, would be better for us. We can actually, this is closer to the door, I agree, but that'll give us more food to feed our family. So we got to debate about that and see what happens, guys. We'll see. <laughs> but in the meantime, um, let me say to you, as always, I hope you're enjoying your gardens this year. 
Stay safe, stay healthy, and blessings of bounty. And may your gardens and your lives always bring you joy, inspiration, and most of all, abundance. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.